So let's dive a little bit deeper into this case. Now we're going to talk with Glenn Ivey, a former federal prosecutor and current white collar defense attorney with the Price Benowitz law firm. Thanks so much for coming in. So my question is, if, if this is not a case about Russian interference, how did Bob Mueller come about finding these allegations against Manafort? Well, you know, in the course of this investigation, did a thorough investigation. Sometimes what prosecutors will do is they'll try and build a case even if it's not directly on point for what they're uh, directly seeking, but to use it as leverage to try and get someone to flip and testify in the case in the way that they want it to go. That's what happened with Gates to some extent, and apparently that's what Mueller's trying to do with Manafort to see if he can get him to uh, testify in the Russia probe. So generally you would use that as leverage to avoid a trial, but here he is on trial, so is it, is it an indication that Manafort plans to, to take this the whole way and might be just banking on a presidential pardon at the end? Yeah, could be. I mean, I think uh, to some extent he may be playing with house money because he's got the pardon possibility behind him there. Uh, and maybe he just doesn't have a lot to offer uh, on a flip. So, for example, prosecutors will only give you that kind of deal if, if they think you can give them evidence and testimony that's actually useful in building the other case. It could be that maybe he feels he doesn't have what... Uh, what would be uh, useful to, to make that deal come together. So we know what the allegations are. What did we learn today about Manafort's defense? Well, it looks like Manafort, this isn't a surprise, I don't think. He's going to put um, other people on trial. Rick Gates flipped. Uh, he had been his right-hand man, as, as we heard just a moment ago. Uh, and now he's going to testify for the government. I think it's critical for the defense to attack Gates and, and challenge his credibility. So to and, say what? The defense is, is saying what? That, that Manafort wasn't involved in any of this? Basically, he hired the wrong guy who did the wrong things without Manafort's knowledge? Is that kind of the general sense? Yeah, I think they're going to try and push it off. Also on the Russian oligarchs who, who won't be here. But other people, especially um, uh, folks who can't be reached and brought in to testify and say it's their fault, and with respect to Gates, I think they have to challenge his credibility. One thing that, 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 that struck me as interesting was that they were able to pick a jury and go through opening statements that quick. I, I don't know generally how long that takes in federal court, but this is a case that has gotten a tremendous amount of media attention. It's obviously polarized politically. D does it surprise you that they were able to get a fair and impartial jury this quick? Not in the Eastern District of Virginia. It's called the Rocket Docket, and I think we saw today why it's earned that, uh, that reputation, and Judge Ellis has made comments pushing the lower, lawyers to move forward uh, quickly in the case, and I think he wants to move it as fast as he can let's end to on, get it done. Let's end on this. The political implications of this trial, obviously being the former campaign chairman for Trump, Manafort is inextricably tied to Donald Trump. Do, do we see or do we envision political fallout from whatever happens, whatever comes out of this trial, or perhaps you know, at the conclusion of the trial, any political fallout? I would think. I mean, certainly if there's an acquittal, I think, you know, the, the, the Trump administration will be trumpeting that uh, and saying it's a witch hunt and the like. If there's a conviction, I'm, I'm sure the uh, anti-Trump forces will be, you know, pushing that as well. And it does create, as we discussed a moment ago, the pressure for Manafort to flip against uh, Trump in the campaign and testify uh, with the Mueller team. Some terrific perspective. Former prosecutor Glenn Ivey, appreciate your time. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Sure.